Hi friends! Welcome to Storytime with the Met. My name is Chloe and I'm so excited to be here again with you today. I hope you'll join us every Thursday at noon for a new story, book, and activity. So before we get started, let's find a cozy seat. I'm sitting on a couch, but you can sit on the floor or in a chair or on your bed, wherever you're most comfortable, and we'll work together to sing our story time song. For those of you who know it and those of you who don't, it goes nice and slow to the tune of this old man. And we'll get started on the count of five. Can you hold up five fingers for me? Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time with the Met where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see. We'll use our ears to hear stories. Now we'll take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin with our first book. Round of applause, friends, a great job singing today. You guys know the song so well by now. Today's book is very special. It's called Just Ask, and it was written by Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor and illustrated by Rafael Lopez. At the bottom, it says, be different, be brave, be you. And it's all about how we can embrace our truest selves. There are a lot of words in this book, so I will read the words and then we'll look at the pictures together. Just ask. Hi, I'm Sonia. My friends and I are planting a garden. Gardens are magical places. Thousands of plants bloom together, but every flower, every berry, and every leaf is different. Each has a different smell, different color, different shape, and different purpose. Some flowers need lots of sunlight, while others thrive in the shade. Some have to be trimmed regularly, while others are better off left alone. Some trees and flowers are more fragile and others are more hardy. Kids are all different too. Some of us are in a hurry and others take more time. Some seem shy and quiet while others are chatty and loud. Some of our differences are easy to spot. Others take longer to notice. Each of us grows in our own way. So if you're curious about other kids, just ask. And we see all of these kids working together to make a garden. Here is Sonia with her wheelbarrow and her plants. You see a rose and a big fern. And then we see other friends coming up the hill with her. Not everyone is comfortable answering questions about themselves, but I don't mind. What am I doing? You can see her in this rose here. Several times a day, I prick my finger to measure the sugar in my blood, and I give myself shots of medicine called insulin. I do this because I have diabetes, and my body doesn't make insulin naturally like other people's. Even though sometimes it can hurt, I gather all of my courage to do it to be healthy. Do you ever have to take medicine to be healthy? And you can see our friend Sonia giving herself her medicine in the rose. You see all sorts of bugs flying around, some bees and a dragonfly. I do. My name is Raphael and I have asthma, which means I sometimes have trouble breathing. When that happens, I take a break and use an inhaler with medicine to make breathing easier. Quiet time helps me slow down and catch your breath. My inhaler is like a tool to help my body. Do you use a tool to help your body? 
Here is our friend Raphael, and instead of planting flowers in the ground, he is painting them on these big rocks. And you can see him holding his inhaler right here. I'm Anthony. Here's Anthony. And I use a wheelchair to get around. Even though I can't run with my legs, I can go super fast. How do you get from place to place? Anthony is using his wheelchair and here are some other friends running and a beautiful bluebird flying through the air. My name is Madison and my guide dog Lucky helps me get places safely because I am blind. Here's Madison and her guide dog Lucky. My friend Arturo is blind too. Here's Arturo. He uses a cane to get around. Even though we can't see, we strengthen our other senses and notice lots of details that, we might, that others might miss. We can hear with our ears and smell with our noses and feel with our hands. How do you use your senses? And you see Madison and Arturo and Lucky walking through the garden. I'm Vijay. I learn about the world differently because I can see, but I can't hear. I'm deaf. And here's Vijay. Most of the time I communicate with people using my face and my hands, using sign language. It's cool to know another language. I also love reading and writing. What about you? I'm Bianca and I have dyslexia. So I have to work really hard and take my time when reading and writing words. Sometimes I use computer programs to help me. I love learning by doing things. My imagination is full of ideas and I'm very good at making art from the pictures that I see in my mind. Here you can see Bianca drawing all the flowers that she's made up in her head for the garden. She's so good at art. Are you really good at something? I am great at dinosaurs. I know all about them. I'm Jordan. Here's Jordan. I have autism. Organizing and counting all my tour dinosaurs again and again makes me feel calm. My classmate Tiana, here's Tiana, also has autism, but it's different for her. She doesn't talk, but I like to talk. I especially like to talk about dinosaurs. What do you like to talk about? You can see that there are all these dinosaurs made out of hedges and plants that will also go in our garden. For me, listening comes more, easy, comes more easily than talking. I'm a really good listener. My name is An and I speak with a stutter. So sometimes I repeat a word or get stuck when I try to say it. It may take me a little longer to express myself and sometimes I'm too shy to talk, but I understand everything that's going on. Do you ever wonder if people understand you? Here is our friend Ann sitting quietly with her, our other grasshopper friend in the garden. I do. My name is Julia. Sometimes I wiggle or make sounds I can't control because I have Tourette's syndrome. People may look at me funny because I th they think I'm not paying attention or just acting out, but it's not true. I'm listening. I don't always like having to explain. It frustrates me, but it helps when I tell people that it's just what my body does. And here, Julia is winking at an owl friend and they're able to understand each other. Do you ever feel frustrated? My name is Manuel and I have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. It is also called ADHD. 
I can get frustrated when I really feel the need to move around even though I'm supposed to sit still. When my teachers and friends are patient with me, if I forget something or get distracted, I can get myself back on track. What's helpful to you? And here we have our friend Manuel jumping and dancing around with all of the tomato seeds. And all of his friends are supportive and watching him as they plant the garden together. I'm Nolan. It's helpful to me when the food I eat has a clear label that says it's nut free because I'm allergic to nuts. They can make me so sick I would have to go to the hospital if I ate any, even by accident. So I always tell people about my allergy and ask if any food has nut ingredients. Speaking up keeps me healthy. And here's Nolan saying no thank you to our squirrel with an acorn. How do you use your voice? I love to sing and I love to talk. I love to make new friends and be included. I'm Grace. I was born with Down syndrome. Kids like me with Down syndrome have an extra building block called a chromosome in our bodies, but we are all different from each other too. I can do almost anything any other kid can do, though learning new things can take some time. One way that I learn is to ask questions. What helps you learn? And our friend Grace is singing with the birds and learning new songs. It's me, Sonia again. And here's our friend Sonia. I ask questions too. When something seems different or new, I just ask my parents or teachers and they help me to understand, especially if my friends don't feel ready to explain. This is what I've learned. Imagine if all of the plants in this garden were exactly the same. Like what if we could only grow peas? That would mean no strawberries or cucumbers or carrots. It might also mean no trees or roses or sunflowers. Just like in our garden, all the ways we are different make our neighborhood, our whole world really, more interesting and fun. And just like all of these plants, each of us has unique powers to share with the world and make it more interesting and richer. What will you do with your powers? And here are all of our friends that we met in this story and their beautiful garden. We have Raphael's rock flowers and we have tulips and roses and trees and birds and dinosaurs and all sorts of beautiful things in our garden. The end. Great job reading friends. I know that was a long book, but I think we all learned a lot. While I was reading this book, I thought of this beautiful painting by the French painter Odilon Redon called A Bouquet of Flowers. In this painting, Redon paints all of these beautiful, bright, colorful flowers that you may have picked in a garden, just like the one in Just Ask. And all, even though all these flowers are different, together they make a beautiful picture together. Just like all of our friends are different and together they make for a beautiful world and community. How many different colors and plants can you find in this painting? Great job. Before we leave, I have a quick activity that you can do with your parents and I was, or with your adults. I had a lot of random cardboard that you can use paper lying around and was thinking of a way to try to make it beautiful. And after I read this book, I thought a lot about all the different ways that plants come together to make beautiful gardens. So I painted lots of different flowers, just like Odilon Redon and just like Sonia planted in her garden. And I made my own little garden. You can put it in your window or on your wall so that you have it to look at all the time to remind you of all the beautiful things that we can create together. I wanna thank you so much for joining me this week. It was so nice to see you and to read and sing with you. I hope you have a great week and that we'll see you again soon. Bye friends.